guys you are welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time of being here hello you are welcome to my channel my name is Tessie so how are you all doing I hope you all are doing well because I'm doing wonderful so here we have Atiku Abubakar basically everything you need to know about Atiku Abubakar this is one news that you don't even want to miss even one minute of it I had a lot of fun recording this news because I enjoyed every bit of it so I'm just going to be reading the news for you guys the way i'm seeing it here but before we continue if this is the first time you're watching my video or you have been watching without subscribing what are you waiting for hit on that red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button and that way anytime i upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you guys are supporting me here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen so let's just go straight to this news news so the headline says how did Atiku ever get that rich the wealth and net worth of Atiku Abubaka and many more juicy so let's just go down and see what they've got for us Atiku Abubaka is a Nigerian businessman politician and philanthropist one of the things he is known for is his immense wealth Atiku Abubakar's net worth and how he has managed to acquire that much money and what he chose to do with it may surprise you. According to some source, Atiku Abubakar is worth whooping 1.6 billion dollars. Insane, isn't it? You might be wondering how did he ever get that rich? Let's consider Atiku Abubakar's asset in details. So let's just move down and see what they've got for us here. Abubakar's first tentative step into the world of business happened during the days at his Nigerian custom service in 1994. He received a loan to build a house in Yola, which he then rented out. After repaying the loan and accumulating enough profit from the rent, he built another house. He continued building until he had quite a few houses in Yola that brought him a stable revenue. Later, Atiku tried his hand at agriculture in 1981. He tried to start a cotton and maize farm but was mostly unsuccessful so he had to close it down in 1986 you see this is the reason why i believe that what works for you may not work for me and what works for me may not work for you this same farm he tried and was unsuccessful for him is the same thing olushegu obasanjo is doing and is working perfectly well for him so don't let people tell you because they have tried one thing and it didn't work for them means if you try it it will not work for you everybody have their own star everybody have what they are good and perfect at so because it didn't work for you doesn't mean it will not work for me you understand so go after what you know you are good at so moving on it said however atiku abubakar next move is probably one of the main reason why he is so rich along with an italian businessman by the name of gabriel levope created nikos which stands for nigerian container service the company is now known as Etel. And it is an oil servicing business that has expensive operation inside and outside of Nigeria. Nevertheless, along with the large sum of money, Atiku's involvement in the creation of Nikos Inter has also brought various accusations of money laundering and conflict of interest. But as you can see, not much has come out of those accusations, and Atiku Abubakar is still one of the wealthiest people in Nigeria. You might be surprised, but Atiku is actually not like other businessmen and politicians. He does not like to flash his undoubtable expensive house, cars, or jets, even though he has a large platform to do that. Continue reading to find out what he chose to do with his wealth. As we have mentioned before, Atiku Abubakar is a philanthropist, but we think that is an understatement. He frequently donates large money to various charities, organizations, and courses. How did Atiku ever get that rich? The wealth and net worth of Atiku Abubakar. Top 10 facts about him and much more. 
So, there we go. One of his most generous donations was to the National Peace Corps Association, United States. He donated $750,000 to the association, which is unsurprisingly was the biggest donation from one individual in its history. Hmm. Among other things, Atiku Abubakar is very interesting in the state of Nigeria education. In 2015, he established the American University of Nigeria in the capital of Adamawa State, Yola. The university used American style to teach, has small classes and place emphasis on critical thinking and student participation. It even has received recognition from Gogo. In 2013, Atiku was the sponsor of an essay contest for the student, the goal of which was to gain a new perspective on resolving the challenge of Nigerian education. He also issued scholarship to 15 victims of the Chibox kidnapping to help them receive the education they deserve and improve the situation with education in the northern Nigerian. Apart from being one of the richest men in Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar is also a very an interesting person. Here are 10 things you should know about him. So it said, Atiku Abubakar was born on November 25th, 1946 in Jade. Back then, it was a village in the northern region of British Nigeria. It is now part of Adamawa State. He is named after his grandfather on his father's side, Atiku Abdukadi. It is customary among Fulani people that Atiku grow up among to name their first son after paternal grandfathers. He is an only child in his family. Atiku's father did not want his son to be corrupted by the Western education, so he did not let him go to school for a while. Why this was discovered, Atiku's father had to spend several days in jail. Like seriously, okay, now I know the reason why they said Atiku did not go to school. His lowly childhood was the reason why he went on to have four wives. As a matter of fact, he married five times, but he divorced one of his wife, Ladi. He has 26 children from all five women. Before seriously going into politics and business, Atiku worked for the Nigerian Customs Service. He spent 20 years on the job and achieved the second highest rank in the service. Atiku Abubakar was the 11th Vice President of Nigeria in 1999-2007 to 2007 during the presidency of Olushego Obasanjo. In fact, Atiku has expressed his desire to become the president of Nigeria. He ran presidency in 1992, 2006, 2007, and 2011. And he also planned to run in 2015. In addition to that, Abubakar is planning to run in 2019. During his political career, Atiku Abubakar has jumped a lot between the different parties. He was a member of the PDP, the ACN, and the APC, the latter of which he helped them to create. Despite his age, Atiku seemed to be very comfortable on the internet. He has his own website with a blog, Atiku.org, as well as account on Facebook, Atiku.org, and Twitter, Atiku. At one at one point, he even tried Instagram, but the account is now abandoned. In his 71 years of life, he has managed to accomplish many things and something tells us that he is not planning on stopping. As you can see, some people in Nigeria actually choose to spend their animal's sweat on something good. Of course, like any other human being, Atiku Abubakar is not perfect, but he is certainly better than many. We just hope he is really as nice as he seems. So guys, so that is it for Atiku Abubakar. I'll be stopping here for today. And if you want to hear the next words of President Muhammad Buhari, Olushegu, or Basanjo, and many of them like that, uh, feel free to comment down below and I'll make a video about it. And further announcement, I stopped my YouTube uh, training course before, but I'm about to restart it again. So if you're interested in reading news,
use the way i ready right now to make money on youtube at the comfort of your own home i will leave my whatsapp number on the description box below also my email so contact me i'm gonna teach you how to get this breaking news how to read them basically everything you need to know and then at the end of the day i will teach you the best way you can get subscriber quick so that they will monetize your channel and you start making money as soon as possible so contact me but mind you this course is not free so if you know you are not ready don't bother yourself contacting me because obviously i, I don't, don't have much time to waste so thank you so much for watching please support me by sharing like and subscribe and i pray that the same way you guys are supporting me here in this channel whatever it is that you are doing that thing that you have desired to do in life even if i have not started it now god will definitely send people that will support you that will make your vision become a reality to you in life in jesus name amen so thank you so much for watching until i come your way next time bye bye bye